Hi, my name is David Vagani. I am the technical director at Global Specialty Products USA, located in Manhali, New Jersey. Today, I am going to go over the flushing uh, procedure of a spray foam equipment and a spray guns using two eco-friendly uh, products called NZD Isoflush, Isocyanate Cleaner and Neutralizer, and Surfax Flush. 2000. Uh, these products will effectively flush spray foam equipment, uh, hoses, spray guns and other related processing equipment. So if you need to uh, flush uh, isocyanate part A or uh, polyol part B or even if you need to remove over spray polyurethane foam which is re uh, reacted part A and B coatings such as polyurea, industrial resins such as epoxy, polyester, vinyl ester, adhesives such as hot melt adhesives and silicones. These products will do the job. NCD Isoflush Isocyanate uh, Cleaner and Surfax Flush 2000. Uh, they are compatible with most O-rings, gaskets and hoses made out of Teflon, nylon, high density polyethylene, polypropylene, carolase, buna N as a nitrile, and many other uh, substrates. Uh, they're available in uh, one gallon uh, easy pour jugs, five gallon pails, 55 gallon drums, and go green saturated wipes. As mentioned previously, Global Specialty Products USA has developed several proven technology, non-hazardous, non-haps, non-flammable, proprietary industrial cleaning products specifically for flushing and immersion cleaning of the spray equipment and its components. Surfax Flush 2000 and NCD Isoflush Isocyanase Cleaner are two replacement Again, I will emphasize two replacement products for NMP, also known as N-methyl 2 proladin which widely used alone or in conjunction with other ingredients for flushing and emergent cleaning purposes. The problem with the use of NMP is a specifically health-related concerns for workers. Now you can um, find NMP listed on California Prop 65 list as well as hazardous air, pollutant, air pollutants list. In addition to eliminating NMP, Global Specialty Products USA's products are suitable replacement for acetone, MEK, methylene chloride, PM acetate, kerosene, aromatic hydrocarbons and many other hazardous chemicals. Today I am going to discuss the application of some of these products, how and where to use each product, safe handling, disposal, etc. So when it comes to safe handling of polyurethane and polyurea materials, specifically the isocyanate materials, these ingredients are highly reactive with water in any form. It is necessary to understand and follow the instructions from your isocyanate suppliers. In addition, please make sure that adequate ventilation and personal protection measures are taken. And when it comes to using solvents in general, it is imperative to uh, read the MSDS, DSDSs for each product that you're using, whether you're flushing the ISO or polyol part B. You know, it's important to read about safe handling of uh, these products um, and be sure to wear uh, goggles and um, gloves in, you know, handling the, uh, uh, these products. NZD Isoflush Isocyanase Cleaner and Surfax Flush 2000. These products um, are non-corrosive and very, very uh, mild on skin. 
So basically, uh, the difference between um, acetone and Surfax Flush 2000 is that acetone it evaporates pretty fast and it feel, and leaves a cool sensation where Surfax Flush uh, evaporates pretty slow. It has a very low rate of evaporation, so you will you may get a little bit of warm sensation but it's definitely positively non-corrosive. So for flushing liquid, I emphasize liquid diisocyanate polymer or part A uh, from your spray foam equipment, hoses and feed lines and spray guns. The use of MCD isoflush, isocyanate cleaner and neutralizer is recommended. MCD isoflush will also remove a small amount of hardened material floating uh, within the system. Uh, in addition, it will do a great job for flushing Part B polyol. And the isoflush has thin viscosity. That means um, it flushes easily and can be left in proportion year hoses overnight or even over the weekend. MZD Isoflush is a slower react, uh, slower acting uh, cleaner than Surfax Flush 2000. For flushing semi-liquid isocyanates or uh, some hardened isocyanates floating within the, the hoses, within the system, um, uh, if, even if you have some significant amount of hardened uh, iso, um, the use of Surfax Flush 2000 is highly recommended. Once your spray equipment is flushed completely, you will once again flush your ISO line with fresh MZD ISO Flush to ensure a complete removal. Surfax Flush 2000 will also be suitable for flushing Part B poly. So I want to give you some tips regarding the use of these products, Surfax Flush 2000 and NZDS Isoflush. Specifically for Surfax Flush 2000, as mentioned, is for flushing hardened isocyanates part A or even polyol part B. Surfax Flush 2000 is more viscous and aggressive than NZD Isoflush. However, the presence of, in the presence of uh, moisture, Surfax Flush 2000 uh, will gel with some isocyanates, part A. In cases where Surfax Flush 2000 is used for flushing hardened part A, a final rinse or final flush, flush of NZD isoflush is definitely recommended. Please do not leave Surfax Flush 2000 in equipment or hoses overnight. You will need to flush out the proportioneer with NZD isoflush um, and then you're good to go. So other use and applications for Surfax Flush 2000 include removing polyurethane foam reacted part A and B such as removing over spray foam from unpa unpainted, I emphasize, surfaces, metal surfaces, cement, masonry, etc. In addition, with Surfax Flush 2000, the product is used to remove industrial resins such as polyester resin, vinyl ester, epoxy, fiberglass from spray and chopper guns, cutting devices, hoses, etc. Further, with Surfax Flush 2000, the product is used for removing polyurea coating from industrial floors as well as other industrial coatings like polyurethane, paint, um, acrylic paints, etc. Finally, uh, Surfax Flush 2000 is used for removing silicone as well as other industrial adhesives. And you may ask, what about fully crystallized isocyanates? Um, in this case, Global Specialty Products USA has developed a product called Sir D-Bond. It stands for Crystallized Isocyanate Resin Remover. It's a low temperature immersion cleaner 
to remove recently hardened and cured buildup of polymers and resins from the spray foam equipment, spray guns, pump packaging, heat exchangers, uh, mixing heads, trowels, conveyor parts, uh, sidewalls, rollers, etc. Um, cutting devices, etc. I would like to mention that Sir Debond is not suitable for flushing um, the hoses uh, to remove recently hardened isocyanates. Do not use Sir Debond for flushing the hoses. That's only, Sir Debond is only for immersion cleaning application of hardened um, diisocyanates. Immersion cleaning at low temperature, even uh, heated temperature right around 140 degrees Fahrenheit, it will enhance the performance. Next, how to maintain your spray foam equipment, spray guns, uh, after when you flush uh, your part A or part B. Global Specialty Products USA has developed a product called Cephalube storage fluid, which is the only VOC exempt uh, proprietary storage fluid available in the market. The product is non-hazardous, non-flammable, non-corrosive, non-hydroscopic, and stable in extreme cold and freezing conditions. Above all, it is compatible with machines and transfer pumps made. Um, as mentioned, Surfaloop storage fluid is a companion product to NZD Isoflush and Surfax Flush 2000. Um, it is used to store urethane, dis urethane dispensing equipment for an extended period of time, up to three years. It is stable under normal storage conditions. Also, when it comes to handling the waste, all three products, whether it's Surfax Flush 2000, NZD Isoflush, or Surfalu, or even Surdebon, they're compatible. Once you use these products, you could have them hauled away in a 55-gallon drum or 5-gallon pail storage fluid to be disposed of it. 